Well, uh, so guys, let's talk a little Baylor football first. Uh, you know, after stumbling in Stillwater, the Bears got back on track uh, last weekend against West Virginia, 45 to 20. Pretty impressive uh, performance, honestly. Um, you know, we understand that the Mountaineers are not as good <laughs> as Oklahoma State. <laughs> uh, and hey, they're better in Kansas. They are better than Kansas. <laughs> Um, you know, and of course, you know, playing at home makes a difference too, but you know, what impressed you guys the most about Baylor's performance and, and where did they kind of improve the most from, you know, still water to, you know, that West Virginia game, Chris, I'll start with you. To be honest, I, I was a little relieved being in Stillwater. It felt, you know, the play calling everyone's talked about it, obviously, and it felt like I wonder, do they just not feel comfortable doing drop back pass with Gary? I mean, they have talent at wide receiver. Do they not feel comfortable with him in those one-on-one -on -one situations? So to go play West Virginia, do a little more of the standard drop back pass where it's not just take the handoff here, throw to this guy, where it's a little more Gary scan the field. I still feel like he's a little late on some of those throws, He, you know, and that's just going to get better. But it was just refreshing to see that he can do that and that a defense can't just line up and say, okay, we'll play one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and fill the box with players because this offense showed that they can beat that if you try it. How about you, John? I'm going to say the pass rush. They got six sacks mm -hmm. against West Virginia. They only had six sacks coming into the game in uh, five yeah. games. So, and, uh, and obviously uh, Apu Eka. 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 I think Eka. I think okay. Ika. Apu Eka. <laughs> Well, we should go with the guy who's on TV. They he's a salt, well, he's a Salt Lake guy. So, uh, okay, that's he right. Went to high school just 10 minutes from me. I played oh. a, quite a few guys like him. So, okay. Well, anyway, uh, he got two sacks. He didn't have any coming into the game. And, uh, really just a combination of good defensive line pressure, some blitzes. And, uh, that, that's a really good sign for them because they just haven't put a lot of pressure on quarterbacks coming in. So, uh, yeah, that's something they could really uh, build on. Yeah, I'm actually writing about the uh, positive pass rush uh, this week. Uh, that story will be online later today as we uh, as we record this podcast and in tomorrow's paper. Uh, one of the things I thought that was interesting uh, that Dave Aranda mentioned was that it really had a lot more to do with stopping the run. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he talked about, the, the fact that they were able to stop the run allowed guys to run free to the quarterback, um, you know, and that made a difference in that, in that pass rush. And uh, yeah, it was easily uh, the best pass rush they've had in the, in the very short Dave Aranda era. Um, and really, you know, the best in a long time, maybe since, uh, you know, they had a pretty good uh, guy named uh, what James Lynch back there, uh, Johnny. Yeah, he was decent. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. 